changes. What is going on on this thunderbump for Tuesday? Dust. Hope all you ninjas are doing good today. We are having a late start, or we had a late start. Busy bees just right there blowing off. We just finished with this property. They had the city, their neighbor had water issues and they ended up having to tear up their yard. So uh, anyway, but we're having a late start. We just uh, finished this one and uh, we got a couple more before we lose daylight. And that's why I just started the video kind of late because We've just been uh, go, go, go since we've had a late start. But anyway, hope you ninjas are doing good. What's going on? What are you doing? What are you ninjas doing on this Thunder Pumper Tuesday? Boy, has it been a Thunder Pumper Tuesday. We've had nothing but rain this morning. It's one of the reasons we're having a late start. Busy B just joined too. He had school earlier and then uh, it's just been nothing but piss pouring rain, at least on my side of town. So there he is. There he is. Pretty boy. <laughs> Nappy boy. <Yeah. laughs> What's up, Busy B? Much. How you been, man? Pretty good. You? Yeah, I'm good. I love how he always asks me. I'm good, busy bee. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you for welcome. asking me. Uh, how's school today? I went pretty good. Good. I just talked about safety. Safety? Hey, that's a big one. Yeah. You know, you could uh, catch a house on fire if you'd mess something up. Yeah, that's real quick. Or get electrocuted if you mess something up with the AC units, right? Yeah, I've done that before. Have you really? I don't feel too good. You got shocked? Yeah. Really? How many voltage? <sighs> what was the voltage roughly? I mean, did you have a hole in your pants or something? No. Okay, so it wasn't... Enough to give me, enough to give me a good little jolt, though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wanted to ask you something. What was it we were talking about earlier? You know, I can't remember. Oh, my gosh. Ninjas. Ninjas. This boy right here, I don't know what's going on in that head. Earlier, he grabbed his phone, and he was, like, getting re he was so focused. He was getting ready to go look up something. All of a sudden, he froze and said, what'd you say? I can't remember what I was looking for. He said, what, what was I supposed to look up? I was like, I don't know, you didn't tell me. He goes, dang, I, I can't remember what I was supposed to look up. <laughs> Did you ever remember it? No, not yet. Still can't remember it? That was like an hour ago. It killed my mom sometimes. <laughs> just got to give it some time. Oh, Busy B, man. It's, it's just Busy B, I guess. Yep. Cameras. Guess. We were talking about cameras. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, that's right. So what were we talking about cameras? Still can not tell you. You don't remember what cameras we were talking about? Oh, uh, dash camera. Oh, so ninjas, dash cameras. I personally think it's one of the best things that you could get for yourself, anybody, honestly, but especially if you're a business owner, as much as we drive out here, dash cameras are a must. I actually had one back in the 2014. Some of you ninjas, some of you loyal ninjas who've been watching for a while might remember, but I had one. It was an El Cheapo, I'm not gonna lie, it was like 50 bucks. And I don't want to go that route again because it, it didn't last. It, it actually, I don't know, it stopped working on me or something like that. So let me know ninjas down in the comment section, what dash cameras would you recommend uh, that you truly either have or have heard good things about? Because I am wanting to invest in one uh, as much as I drive, I want to go ahead and invest in one because you just never know, right? Whether you have an accident uh, or something happens in front of you, you always want to have a record of that. So let me know what you think, which ones are good. There it is. It's done. Boy, they messed up that yard, didn't they? Look at that walkway. Hopefully they'll come back and fix that walkway. So anyway, let me know what you think on that and uh, we'll see you at the next one, hopefully. Or the one after, or the one after, or the one after. Or the one after? Nope, which one? I don't know which one yet. Hey, which way? Right. That way? Yeah. That way. Which way? The right way. The right way, I like it. <laughs>
Luckily, I didn't chop them up with uh, the blades, but I think I ran over them with a tire. I didn't even see it. He's still breeding. That's just terrible. I feel awful. I'm so sorry, buddy. But, you know, if you see them, sometimes when I see certain little spots or dead spots or like a little hole, I'll try to be careful and go around it. But I don't know if his home is here somewhere or probably in this little spot right here or if he just ran yeah, he, probably came out of one of the bushes. he probably came out of the bush yeah you're right and he just he's still breathing but there's nothing i can do i'm so sorry buddy i hate it i hate it it's terrible but you will uh this will happen to you there's just nothing you can do if you see a spot in the yard sometime, you know, try to be careful, avoid it, go around it or something, but sometimes it's just, you can't avoid it. It's just impossible. A busy bee, he was scared as heck, man. When I called him to show him over here what happened, I shook my head and you said your heart just double skipped yep. or did it stop? A little bit of both. A little bit of both, he thought it was what? Another window. Another window. <laughs> <laughs> he thought it was another window ninjas. Oh, I'm sorry, bunny. It's a baby one, too. Back home. We're done for today. Didn't do a whole lot. Like I said earlier, had a late start. We've had nothing but rain, at least on uh, the side of town where I had most of my yards for today. And then, of course, Busy B uh, showed up a little bit later because he had school. But anyway, I just wanted to conclude this video. I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of the uh, footage that I was able to get. And unfortunately about the bunny, but... What do you do? That's just part of it, I guess. Um, I hate, I hate it. You know, you, I, I never want to hurt an animal of any kind. I mean, you guys saw it, the ones who follow me on Instagram. We even released a snake that I caught uh, a couple weeks ago, a week or two ago. What I wanted to conclude the video with: uh, a lot of you ninjas have been asking me, how do you grow your business, and how do you get your name out there? And I've, I, feel, I feel like I'm, I'm getting these uh, a lot and it just means that maybe a lot of you are new and starting your business or thinking about starting your business. And, you know, I feel like I've made these videos over the course of the last two, three years very repetitively. But like I said, I think there's just a lot of you ninjas who are new. But I'll just give you a real quick overview of uh, what you can do, what I've done. But I'll definitely tell you what not to do. So to get your name out there as you're trying to grow your business ninjas is very simple. Make some flyers, a very cheap way to get your name out there is make some flyers and throw them out there, go door to door, throw your flyer out there. You know, whether you put it on the front door, you know, or throw it in the walkway, driveway. If you're putting it on the mailbox, don't open the mailbox. That's against the law, but you can put it on the side of the mailbox, you know, whether you put a little tape on it or maybe right there by the flag <clears throat> or something like that. So that that's, seems to always work for everybody. I mean, it's not gonna be, you're not gonna, if you throw out 500 flyers, it doesn't mean you're gonna get 500 calls, but if you can get one or two, I think it's worth it. It'll pay off. Um, advertise, of course, you know, social media, Facebook. Um, things of that nature word of mouth is always great it'll it'll uh, always um, it always seems to work best so if you have a few clients always do a good job because you never know right I mean they may refer you to their friends family members neighbors and then um, you know be professional when you the the little bit of yards that maybe you do have and you're just trying to grow be professional and dress appropriate and do a good job and you never know you the neighbors wherever those areas that you are are watching i just got another neighbor just an example i just got another neighbor that i maintain the yard it's a weekly yard and the neighbor just texted me out of the blue so and he's he you know told me who he was and he's like you mow one of my neighbors you know i'm the house next door and you know, can you go ahead and cut my yard this Friday? This has actually just happened last night. 
So you never know, and we don't know if that'll be a permanent thing or not, but you know, for now he wants it cut at least one time. <clears throat> Something about his mower is acting up, but. So it just goes to show, you know, ha, you know, take care of your equipment, you know, try to, it's kind of like going to that job interview, Ninjas. You want to look professional. <laughs> it's the best way I can put it. You want to look professional. You want to open the window. I know it's getting dark out here. You want to look professional. You want to look approachable. Sometimes there's people who want to approach you and ask you, hey, you know, can you quote my yard? But if you don't look approachable, you don't look professional, they're not going to do that. I'm just telling you from my experience. So things like that will help you grow your business. There's other ways, but those are going to be the expensive ways. So I'm kind of just telling you little simple things that you can do that um, work for me. But one thing I will tell you what not to do and it's the biggest scam there is, I think, in my opinion. And they're very annoying. They just, they're so annoying. And here I am. I've been turning them down for 10 years, Ninjas, and they're still blowing up my phone from time to time. I'm constantly getting emails. Um, and and, and I, I'm constantly getting calls, not not back to back, you know, every day, but I, I get calls probably, if not on a weekly basis, probably every other week or so, definitely a couple of times a month. And uh, they always change their numbers because they're try constantly trying to get me on the phone. And so don't fall for this. To me, it's it's a scam. To me, in my opinion, it's a scam. But uh, even if it's not like an actual scam, maybe it works for some people. They're very expensive. They're very expensive. So, and what I'm talking about, Ninjas, is um, is a company that will try to get you to sign up with them. Try to get you to. Um, spend money with them so they can send you leads uh, I've never personally done it because when I was first approached with from you know when I was first approached by them uh, years back I started to look into them and uh, did some research and I've seen a lot of bad reviews so I never I never fell for it but you know they still they still will not give up and they will blow your phone up and just so anyway the company I'm calling I'm, I'm talking about is called home advisor um, I'm sure a lot of you ninjas have heard about them, but this is particularly for those who are just now starting to get into the business. Don't fall for it. Home Advisor, like I said, maybe it works for some people. Maybe it's not a scam, but to me it's a scam. They're asking you to spend hundreds of dollars a month and they send you leads. And a lot of times those leads are fake. A lot of times those leads are crap. Uh, you are what you're trying to do when you want to grow your business is you're trying to find clients that are going to be loyal to you you're trying to find clients that are going to stick with you uh, and from time to time you'll come across customers who just want a one-time cut you know maybe they just need some help right now and they're not trying to get into this whole having a lawn care company maintain their property so they can have another monthly payment or something and that's fine you know there's nothing wrong with that. If you can squeeze them into your schedule, make some extra money, why not, and help them out. But overall, I think your vision, if you're trying to grow a lawn care company, a successful lawn care company, is to find clients that are repetitive, that are ongoing. They want your service, they need your service, and they're willing to pay for your service. So that's what you're looking for. That's what I'm looking for, you know? Um, I can comfortably say 90% of my client base is loyal customers. 90% um, of them are my friends and I wouldn't, I wouldn't change them for anything else for the world. I wouldn't change them for anything else. If someone came around and said, drop all your clients, we're going to give you this big commercial account that's going to pay this much money. I wouldn't accept it because I've, I've made friends with these people and I don't know that that's my vision maybe yours is different but in the broad you know the whole broad spectrum of things I would say your goal should be uh, to one degree or another to find loyal customers and those loyal customers are looking for a loyal company company that will be dependable they can count on they trust 
You know, you want, look, put yourself in their shoes. If you're hiring somebody around your house for something, whatever it may be, right? You want someone you can trust. You want someone that you don't need to question them. Um, you're not gonna be worried about something might go missing, right? Somebody's gonna steal something or that they're gonna damage something and not tell you. Look, anything can happen uh, and accidents can happen all the time. And look what happened to me just a couple of weeks ago in Busy Bee, right? We broke the guy's freaking door window or door glass door. And then literally two weeks later, we break his car door or car window. But you know what? I'm not gonna like not tell them. I'm not gonna like pretend that that didn't happen from us. I'm gonna be honest about that and say, hey, we did it again. I'm sorry, but I'll make it right. And I'm gonna fix it. And it's it's gonna be on me, Not you know, nothing you have to worry about. Customers want that just as much as you would want that if you're hiring somebody around your property. So loyalty is key. I always say that. I've said it before and I'm gonna to continue to say that. Loyalty is key in everything in life. Customers, friends, family members, whatever. I think if you have loyalty, you have everything. So anyway, you're, you're to the new ninjas who are trying to grow their business, who are just maybe getting into this industry, um, you know, look for loyal clients, clients who want to commit to you and respect you and respect what you do. And, um, you know, they want a company that respects them and, uh, will go out of their way to do the best job that they possibly can. So anyway, stay away from home advisor. In my opinion, it's a scam. Uh, don't spend any money monthly or anything like that to try to get leads, okay? Now, there are other companies that are not as bad. I actually have used them in the past, but they are pretty expensive. They weren't expensive when I, when I was using them back in the day, and I stopped using them because they got really expensive. But if you can afford it, um, and if that's the route you're willing to take, then try to look into something like Thumbtack. You know, they, they will send you leads and uh, I've had good, good success with them in the past, but they were a lot more reasonable back then. Now they're just so expensive. I, I haven't used them in years. So, but that's something like that. But hope that's helped you. Definitely stay away from uh, Home Advisor. That's my opinion. You know, maybe some of you ninjas, if you do use them, let me know down in the comments section. Uh, have you had good luck with them? You know, maybe it's worked for you. I don't know, but I've read too many bad things and too many bad reviews. And one thing I do know is they are so annoying. They will blow your phone up day in and day out, nonstop. And here I am, like I said, 10 years later, they're still calling me and emailing me and saying, but me, we got a lead for you. You know, there's a huge, you know, landscaping job or 20 lawn care accounts that are waiting and looking for somebody but they want it they don't tell you that when they leave you these voicemails they want you to call them back and then they'll tell you over the phone you know if you sign up for just a low 260 dollars a month you're gonna get unlimited leads or some whatever you're better off going and paying i think personally if you're gonna pay some money pay five six hundred dollars for a month or two months and put a big billboard in your town that'll um, advertise your company I think you're probably better off that route than trying to pay them and then they'll send you fake leads or uh, leads that are just crap. So again, at the end of the day, you want loyal customers. You want loyal clients that want your service, need your service, and are willing to pay for your service. Hope that's helped you. Thank you for watching for another video. Sorry, it's a bit of a short one. It's been a weird day. Uh, I'm going to have a crazy day tomorrow too. I got a meeting with my CPA and I'm going to be rushing to get everything done. So I'll be going solo most of the day tomorrow and uh, may have to cut it early. So I don't even know if Busy Bee will work tomorrow. We'll see. But he'll be in touch with me when he gets done with school and uh, check in with me to see where I'm at and we'll go from there. But all right, ninjas. Thanks for watching. Like I said, hope you guys have had a good day. We'll see you tomorrow or next day. Yeah. Saving green. Peace.
Save you.